We, um, we have the unenviable task of trying to pick a club football power rankings. God knows we've uh, pulled our hair out with the hurling ones already. But, Jason, do you want to sort of lead us out on this? Again, uh, the unenviable task. Like, as Fintan O'Toole said last week when we were talking about this sort of stuff, a huge amount of the heavy hitters are already gone. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you know, you just you scroll through. There's a, there's a lot of big dogs gone. Like, you've Corifan gone, Cross and Glen. Coal Island would have fancied their chances even coming out of Tyrone. Like, there's so many heavy hitters gone from their counties alone. Like, you'd, you'd Vincent's Ballymun going out early in, in Dublin, too. Um, you know, Ballymun and Sedendas. So, like, if I was to pick an out and out number one, just based on what I've seen at the minute, um, it would be Kilmacud Crooks. Um, I know Glenn have been arguably the fairy tale of the, the club competitions as a whole around the country. Um, you know, I was very surprised to see that Scottstown were two to one to beat them, but the bookie was right again and they came through. And Malik O'Rourke's uh, manager with them, big big fancies for for all Ireland calls in a lot of a lot of corners too. But uh, I just think the way Chemical Crokes are playing at the minute and the absolute kick up the arse they got uh, a couple of years ago against Mon and they've all that reminded me of that. Bishop Brennan actually. <laughs> <laughs> This is very. Uh, uh, you you wouldn't need. I wouldn't need to be asked twice to give you a bit up the behind, anyway. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I just think if, if you if you were to pick a number one from me straight off, it would be Kill McCord. Then maybe Glenn. Then maybe Mike Bailey and Malak. But someone else could come along and say, "What about Kill Two? Brought Corrigan yeah. next time last January at Croke Park. Connor Laverty still absolutely lighting it up uh, in the corner forward position too. So. Like, you never know what kind of form this will take. Like, and the Christmas break could make or break a few teams as well, considering um, a lot of you know all the provincial finals are on uh, in January as opposed to before Christmas. Yeah, and people get your comments in here. I'm just kind of doing a brief, a little bit of an overview of who's coming through. Um, so in in Munster, Aero beat, um, they're through there. So we know that they're uh, they're playing at the moment. Um, oh, let me just check here. Sorry, I, I haven't the right page up. But yeah, so Aero are still alive. Newcastle West are still alive. Uh, Airog will be against St. Finbar as a Cork and Austin Stacks. They'll fancy their chances against Newcastle West. In uh, the Ulster Championship, uh, you've got um, Derry Gonley, Clan, Kilku. And Kilku are up against Watty Grahams. And actually with the bookies, yeah. uh, the Glen there, Watty Grahams, they're also the favourites. So um, the Chameliers are going to be against Nace and uh, Port Arlington are against Crokes. I think most people would... Even just by dint of it being on in Croke Park from here on out, I think people will be thinking Croke Park are going to, or sorry, Crokes are going to light the place up. Then in the Connacht Championship, Mount Benue by lot against Porrick Pierce's, the winner playing not more in the county final. So I just, I was even saying on the show on Monday, Jason, I just think the Glen look class. I mean, they've got Kieran McFall, who's lording it there at centre back, Connor Glass, they've got some dangerous forwards in there, your man Gunning. Um, Trying to think of a number 14, can't remember his name off the top of my head. Uh, Dan, Danny Tallon. And then you've got um, Maliki O'Rourke as manager. So I'd be putting Glenn quite quite high up this. And like, do you fancy Glenn to beat Kilku this weekend? I oh, sorry, next weekend, next weekend. It definitely wouldn't surprise me anyway, Shane, because myself and, and Michael there were coming back from the, the Galway Hurling final on Sunday. And I was saying in the car that I couldn't believe Scott's timber 2 to 1. And, like they complete like Scotstown completely fell apart when they came up against that challenge. Like and Glenn just pulverized them uh, and everything just went wrong then from Scotstown from then on. And they're just such a powerful side. And Malachy is such a brilliant manager. We saw what he done with Monaghan winning two Ulster titles. The first one in twenty thirteen was nearly out of nowhere when, when Donegal were expected to go on and just walk to the three in a row. Um, you know, he's a fantastic manager, like, and you know, he worked wonders when he was in charge of his own for Mana too. He'll definitely be back in an intra county job, um, before not too long. Like, I know a lot of teams were probably in his ear again this winter about coming on board, and um, but you know, he'll be focusing on this journey now, um, with Waddy Graham's and you know, Ulster's calling, it's probably there if they want it. But I, I would think, with all due respect to to Clan Aaron on the other side and Derry Gonley, I would think whoever wins that semi final. We'll definitely fancy the chances of winning the province and going into the last four then next year. Well, we might even be able to narrow it down, Michael, just by predicting who we think we're going to win each of the provinces. So is it going to, like, I'm thinking based on what I saw from Mount Bellew the last day, I feel like they'll come through that. But I think not more might have their measure in the in the in the Connacht final. So I'm going to sort of tentatively say not more to win Connacht. I'm going to say 
Kilmacud Croaks to win Leinster. Uh, I think it's a tough one to call in Munster. And uh, I think the Glen might come through in, in Ulster, even though it is their first foray. Yeah, the the Ulster one is really uh, tricky because the Kilku could easily be number one. The, you could totally justify having Kilku at number one. But then if you think the Glen are going to win, you could totally justify having Kilku at five or six. So a lot will, uh, you know, a massively... The, the higher end of our rankings here will massively depend on who wins that semi-final, I think. They're, they're, like, whoever we think is going to win that semi-final is probably going to be either one, or one two, or three, or in around there. Um, I, I don't think, um, I don't think uh, Crokes and Port Harrington is a foregone conclusion. Uh, far from it. And I don't think if they played Nace, who I think they will in the Leinster final, I don't think that's a foregone conclusion either. Um, but so there's Which a couple fancy of- in Crokes to win that. To win, to win Leinster, yeah, no. yeah, just just about, yeah. No, I think they're, I think they'll have two very tough games to win Leinster. If I'm honest, I think Crow Park is a help, but I, I still think they'll have two very tough games to win Leinster. Then you have like Knockmore are already in the provincial final, like they're uh, like I'd be happy enough to have them quite high up because they've dodged, they've already dodged, they're dodging a load of bullets already. We could put like Crokes could easily be beaten, you know. Before they could easily be beaten in the next two games, it could be gone. Same with Kilku, same same with the Glen. So I think there's a bit of uh, I think there's probably a bit of strategy needed, but I think we need to start at the top and think who we're going to put number one. Um, for, for, for me, as they for say me. On, Sky, on Sky Sports, I'd have Kilku, I'd have Kilku number one, but and and that's that's just me taking a strong line on the Kilku against against Glen and obviously they them been beaten in all Ireland club final at the start of uh, 2020 yeah i mean i i am kind of i just see that so much quality and youth in the and power in that glen team i just haven't seen Kilku and Kilku enough lately what do you think um jason i mean Kilku were so impressive against Carthin even though they lost that all ireland yeah and i i saw them in the flesh in the the Ulster final that year as well when uh, Neve Connell, who won Donegal that year, were were fancy to win, but like you know, Kilku were behind for large swathes of that game and Oma too, but they just never know when they're beaten. Like they never know when they're beaten, and it was the same in the semi final that year, and it was the same in that that evening in Croke Park as well. Um, just before COVID came, it's mad that that game feels like a lifetime ago. It was January twenty twenty, and they just never know when they're beaten, and uh, they just have. They have so much experience up and down the team. Some great young players as well. Um, like they're just obsessed with football up there. Um, they do a bit of farming on the side and, uh, during the day. I think that that's See, the way it is. Um, but like there's there's some side I de- I definitely would not write them off. Absolutely no way. And I can definitely um agree with a lot of the points mix after making there. Yeah, I, look, I think we we probably just on the basis of the. Every team is a fairly tough path here, but I think on the basis of the fact that I feel so strongly that Crokes will win Leinster and they should have a, be on a bit of a mission because of the way things ended against Mullignac the three years ago. I'm looking at putting Kilmacud Crokes number one because they've also got, I'd say, the best player left, in, best forward left in the competition. Michael? He's the best. Sorry, Mike, go on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, it's, it's, it's two to one here because you've both probably stumped for Crokes number one. The only issue I'd have is, would I be shocked if our number one team uh, was gone, you know, this weekend? I wouldn't be that shocked. But saying that, I want, I want, I'd, I'd want Kilku number one. Would I be, I'd be less shocked if they were gone, you know, in, in a couple of weekends time. So it's kind of a difficult one there. I definitely would have Crokes, obviously, high up. I, w- I wouldn't have them number one, but I would definitely have them high up. Okay. What what about Knockmore? Do you think that they deserve to be in the top three or four there, Jason? Um, they're definitely in with a shout anyway, Shane. Like the that male championship is no gimme either. Like, you know, you've mm. you've Brafey, Castlebar, Mitchells, Bond Hubbard, breathing down your neck, Westport. There's there's so many savage club teams there and that that club champ that male club football championship reminds me of the Galway Hurling Championship nearly just of how dogged it is and just how open it is and how it can be anyone's uh, cup at the end of the year, and um, you know they were fairy tale last year when they won it. It was absolute fairy tale stuff. Uh, Kevin McLaughlin was just, you know, superhuman uh, in the way he he performed for them the whole way through and right up to that one in the final. Um, and he he's continuing to do that even though he's been at the top level for Mayo for so long as well. Um, so they have that experience uh, to back themselves up to. 
And I, I, as I said already, I think just being able to to focus now on the final, not till the 9th of January, the game's on in Balna, to really, really fancy their chances. So, like, in the top, to have them in the top four or five, um, I can I can definitely see a huge argument for that too. Okay, so who's going to win the provinces, Jason? If I was to pick me four right now, I would go Wally Graham's for Ulster. I would maybe still slightly edge towards Mint Bailey Milock for um for Connacht. I would go St. Finbars and Munster. Um and I would go Chemical Crooks and Leinster. Okay, so we've got a couple of votes there for um I actually Michael, what what are you thinking in terms of Connacht? Um I'd probably go for not more at the moment. To be honest with you, and just I think it's I think it's quite safe as well as Jason said. Sounds like you boys want to put Glenn in number two, though. I want to put them up pretty high. Yeah, I think I do. Um, by the way, that's that's two 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 of us saying Knockmore will win that championship, so that'll have to carry there. So yeah, to, that's fair do. enough. Yeah, that's even fair even enough. though I'm not sure that the bookies agree, but even the fact that they're in the final, you kind of have to go with them. Um, what about saying Finbar, Michael? Um, I think this. I think the stacks will win Munster that's my kind of feeling on that at the moment and they have that kind of pedigree Where when did they win Munster Club they won Munster Club uh, win Munster Club the last time they won the Kerry title I think uh, was that 2014 2014 I think they won the Munster Club they're beating an all Ireland semi-final to the best of my knowledge um, and you know there was a good bit of talk about Karen Zeratli he's going into that final the other day and they just did what they had to do really, really professionally. Uh, I don't think they'll shoot the lights out while doing it, but I think they'll I think they'll account for their plans at Newcastle West next weekend. Mm. It'd be mm. anything that'd be a massive shock if they don't win that. And I think they'd get the job done against against Finbars. They're just the side that seem to just win games, you know, 13-10, 13-11, 14-11. They just get the job done. It's not too spectacular. They just get the job done, and I think they'll get it done in Munster again. But they did beat um, a Cairns Rally team that lost David Moran early on. So I mean that was that was that obviously skewed things a little bit. Not saying they didn't have a good performance. Uh, who do you think will win Monster, Jason? I am leaning towards St. Finbars for some reason. I just think they've kind of come in under the radar. Um a lot of people won't be talking about them. It's kind of all set up for a big car carry fine clash between themselves and the Rockies. And uh I just they seem to have something about them. I, I like I like the way they're set up, I like the look of them. And uh, I just think they might be able to do a number on the on the carry man, and they, 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 by God, would they love that? You like the cut of their jib, Jason. I like the cut of their jib, yeah, just like yours, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> so if we're to if we're to go on the basis of who we think are going to win the provincial titles, we're saying Croaks, the Glen, Knockmore, and Finbars. That's what us kind of working out the votes, who's gone for who. So we're going to have to stick with that, really, because it is a democracy. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with this at all. I'm not yeah. happy with the number one. I'm not happy with the number two. <laughs> no, no, we can we can change the order of the top four, but we've got Croaks, Glen, Knockmore, and Finbars. I be I think in that order is correct. Say that again, Shane. I I, I don't the, I don't think it's correct, but listen, okay. it's a democracy. So based on the on the top four that we've voted democratically. I'm saying the order should be Kilmacud, Croaks, Glen, Knockmore, and St. Finbars as the one to four, Jason. Yeah, it's not a, yeah, if, you, if, if we were basing it in the way the votes go, yeah. That's what? that's not where I had mapped it initially, but if we were basing it in the votes, yeah. So w- would you change the order of that? No, I don't think I would. Yeah. Michael? No, ba- based, on, uh, based on the arguments that have been made, I be happy enough with the order of that like I put it to you this way I want Kilku very very high so whoever beats Kilku should be really really high as well like Glenn shouldn't be fourth out at five you know what I mean yeah I agree with Nisha democracy doesn't work no no <laughs> this is work. this is going to be Saint and Mosey's uh, club power rankings I'm washing my hands with this you can't do that <laughs> no no you're, you're, not away, you're not allowed I'm a team player I'm a team player you can't leave this thing of ours even if I don't agree with what uh, what some of the decisions you've made, it, we're all in it as a team, and I'll stick up for you until there, until there's a knife in your back. <laughs> so what? Who's next then? I think like, Kilku have to be next. Yeah. So Kilku, then I would say Mount Bellew next. Yeah. Head of stacks. Yeah, yeah. I would have them ahead of stacks. Yeah. And then Park Pierce's. Oh, um, I think Nace will be in a Leinster final. 
and I think I think they'll beat Shelmaliers this weekend, and I think they'll take a good hop off whoever is in the other side. Um, there's a bit of a fairy tale run going on there. Uh, while they were, uh, it was the first county title in 30 years. Obviously, Owen Doyle is kind of the accidental manager now. They tough game against Tullamore. That was the game they were probably going to be beaten in if they're going to be beaten in the early stages of Leinster. There is a bit of a freak goal by Dara Corwin to get through there. They they really were really comprehensive beating blessings in last weekend, and I think um I think they'll do a bit of a job on Shelmaliers at the weekend. Are we wrong in Derry Gonley? Sure, listen, Shane. Um, Carol Kane will have to have another uh, column in the Irish News now saying that they're been disrespected. But we are totally skewing our Ulster opinion to one side of the semi final draw. Um, so I can under I can understand what you're saying there. Yeah, so mm. like they have a right good chance of getting into an Ulster final. So I think on that basis we'll have them in the ten. Uh, we did talk beforehand. Should we have Corfin in here even though they're gone? I think we should leave them out and just stick to teams that are in here. If we were doing this earlier, I would have said I would have said if it was earlier in the year, um, even when they'd been beaten in the Galway final around then, I probably still would have had them in the top ten. But we know we know an awful lot more now. There's still obviously the the reigning and defending All Ireland champions, but very hard to justify having having them in there when they they can't win this year's championship. So I'm going to read out the ten we have at the moment, and uh, let me let me know if you don't agree. We have Kilmacud Croaks at number one. We have Glen number two. Mm-hmm. We've Knock Moore number three. Saint Finbar's a Cork number four. Then it's Kilku and Mount Bellew, my lock, which uh, my law, which I'm sure a lot of people would say should be higher. Then you have Austin Stacks, who would, you know, have a good chance at winning Munster all the way down at seven. Nace eight, Porrick Pierce is nine, and Derry Gonley Harps ten. So that's leaving out the likes of Shell Maliers, Clan Aaron, so on. Should should Pierce's be number nine? We the I think the three of us all think that they're going to be beaten this weekend. Would I be right in saying? Yeah, but I think there'll be a kick of a ball in it type type job. I wouldn't mm. be. Okay. And then if they go on and win that, you just never know. Mm-hmm. Is there anybody that's been hard done by outside of the top ten? I don't think so. Yeah, uh, there's probably one or two clubs that can make a call here. Like what'll happen with Air Oak of Clare? I think. We all assume that 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 fairy tale will come to a, an end eventually. Oh yeah, see, I w- I wouldn't have Finbars as high. I'd have no problem putting Aero Guinness in ahead of Parik Pierce's boat in a provincial semi final. We both we all probably think they'll be beaten in a provincial semi final, but yeah, I think Pierce's are somewhat lucky there now. I have to say. What are you thinking, Jason? Are we going to go with it? Ah, yeah, I would go with it. I would go with it. Yeah, I can see. Sure, boys. <laughs> hey, listen, you've just agreed with each other from start to finish here. Did you? Were you on? Did you do a call beforehand? We just said <laughs> we're going to have these opinions, and whatever Verney thinks, we're going to go against them. Well, I'm not agreeing with Air Oak, by the way. <laughs> That's why I left my legs, anyway. Are you going to allow him to throw in Air Oak? <laughs> no, I would. Think, no, I wouldn't have him in there. Sorry, I wouldn't. Okay, so we're sticking with that ten, then, are we? Yeah, team effort. Go team. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna bring it up on screen here if I can, if the thing appears for me at all. So this is gonna be it. Kilmacud Croaks in at number one, Glen of Derry number two, Knockmore of Mayo three, Cork St. Finbars, Kilku of Down, Mount Bellu Myla of Galway, Austin Stacks, Porrick Pierces, sorry, Nays, Porrick Pierces, and Derry Gonley. So that's a fair selection. Let us know what you think. Are we a mile right? Are we a mile wrong? Who knows? But uh, there's a fair chance we're wrong. I mean, that's usually the case, Mike. There's so, like, there's so many different variations you can have there, like. But I think we're all agreed on number one. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, well, I don't think he is. I'm definitely, <laughs> definitely not agreed on number one. I would have had Kim <laughs> number one. But I think looking through that list and even how it could change, um, it just it kind of exemplifies what we were saying on Monday, Shane. Just how open an All Ireland race is, and it's going to be fascinating and. There's, there's a door half open there for a lot of teams and they're just going to have to kind of go through it now and they have a great chance. It could have a, a very unusual uh, name on the All-Ireland Club title that the the, um, uh, the Tommy Moore is the Hurling Cup. What's the what's the football trophy? The name is Andy Merrigan. Andy Merrigan. Andy Merrigan. Like he could have, a, like there's a lot of those names that, that are there that have never been on it before. If you enjoyed this piece of content, please follow us on YouTube by hitting the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of the page, which helps the channel grow. And if you want audio podcasts, go to patreon.com forward slash our game.